Like everyone, I love ice cream. But the thing is, most people don't have an ice cream churn with which to make it. But don't worry, with some really good technique, there's actually an Italian classic recipe that'll take care of it for you. It's called semifredo, and ours is white chocolate and raspberry. Start with 250 grams of frozen raspberries. They work just as well as the fresh ones and it's loads cheaper. Pop them into a small pot with 85 grams of caster sugar and just a small splash of water. Let it cook over a low heat for about five minutes or so until the raspberries have softened. Then press that through a fine sieve. You want to make sure you get as much raspberry pulp as you can get, removing only the seeds. Then set your raspberry mixture aside to cool while we get on to stage number two. And this is where the technique gets really interesting. You want to grab four egg yolks, 100 grams of caster sugar and 100 mils of sherry or your favourite liqueur. Pop them in a bowl, whisk it together, then put that over a pot of barely simmering water where we're going to cook it, whisking constantly until it starts to thicken. This is what the French chefs call a sabayon, or the Italian chefs call zabaglioni, and it's the basis for our semifredo. It's also important to note that there's four principles at work turning this into an ice cream. You need to have fat, you need to have sugar, you need to have aeration, and hopefully just a little bit of alcohol to stop the ice crystals from forming up. And this, it's got all of them. Oh, this is perfect. When it's thick enough to hold a figure eight, you need to work quickly and get it transferred over an ice bath. While the egg yolk mixture is chilling, we'll get on to making some whipped cream. You need 450 mils of cream, and you go 10% sugar, so that's 45 grams of icing sugar, and a teaspoon of natural vanilla paste. That's one that's got the seeds in it. You want to whip it to soft peaks only. Then fold the cream into the egg yolk mixture really gently so you don't lose too much aeration. Then divide that into two bowls. Then it's simply a matter of stirring 150 grams of melted and cooled white chocolate into one half and your raspberry sauce into the other. Stir it through well. Pour the raspberry ice cream base into a lined regular loaf pan. Let it freeze for a bit. Top of the white chocolate. Then back in the freezer, it'll need at least four hours before it's ready to serve. So if you thought it was too difficult to make your own ice cream at home, think again. Think again.